Wheeling and dealing, oh the debt ceiling. Read in Dr. Seuss style. Written by Sue Nolan. Produced by Trunk. www.trunkonline.com Hello boys and girls. Welcome to Miss Sue's class on government. Yes, today we're going to learn about Congress. Doesn't that sound like fun? Today I'll be reading a book called Wheeling and Dealing. Oh, the debt ceiling. What fun. We all remember Dr. Seuss books, right? Well, this is sort of like that. In fact, it kind of reminds me a little bit of the Grinch. But then sometimes the government kind of acts like the Grinch now, doesn't it? Oh, yes. Okay, let's read our new book. All hail to the house, three cheers to you all. With Tea Party freshmen, the GOP stands tall. With all odds against you, you passed a bill, but the Dems in the Senate, the bill they did kill. Oh, the Senate and Reed said that bill we must kill. We write all the bills, then they don't get a vote. The economy's underwater and there's a leak in our boat. More trillions for stimulus, bailouts galore. Bring it to Congress, we'll vote on the floor. There go our ratings with Standard & Poor. We must, oh we must, oh we must spend some more. Oh no, Mr. O, oh please look and see. Please read the bills from the whole GOP. You just will not do it and we don't know why. But if you don't read them, poor Boehner will cry. Mr. O, he will veto, he'll veto them all. While he twitters and tweets way out in the hall. He has no idea how all of this ends, but he must keep up with his Facebook friends. He gave us no budget, not one single plan, yet he's the one who said, yes we can. He's just not involved except to point blame, saying hurry up guys or I'll miss my golf game. They all want to spend, oh they spend, 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 spend. Of the taxpayers money there's apparently no end. Raise the debt ceiling is their hue and cry. If you don't let us borrow, we all just may die. If we can't borrow more, we'll die, 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 die. So hurry up, please. The economy's in a fix. Quick call that bipartisan gang of six. They'll get it done right. You can count on that. They'll cut and they'll hack and they'll trim all the fat off that huge bloated budget. Fourteen trillion, I'm told. Thanks to China and India, who always bankrolled. We can't pay them back. So they yell and they holler, Wall Street's crashing, there goes our dollar. But Geithner, TurboTax genius who heads IRS, will just print us more money with his printing press. Yes, crank up the presses, get the ink flowing. We've got to keep the economy growing. They say things look bad, but don't fret and don't pout. With stimulus cash, we'll spend our way out. More stimulus, please, another bailout. With Keynesian and logic, we'll soon find a way if the Dems can just get the GOP to pay. Let taxes increase. Let's all be like grace. Government dependency. We're sheep to be fleeced. More taxes, more taxes. Yes, that's just the ticket. Union bosses must be paid or the White House, they'll pick it. Obama campaigned. He got billions from their dues. Now he owes them his shirt, his hat, and his shoes. It's paid back time soon. 2012's almost here. They put him in office and they'll collect next year. But don't bother Obama. He's really ticked off because we've interrupted his game of golf. And Michelle is in a rage, a really foul mood. She's angry with McDonald's for selling junk food. You want fries with your burger? Oh, no, 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 no. Serve them with apples, she says, on their order to go. And that burger will tax. We'll tax, 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 tax. We'll tax your cold drink and your juicy Big Macs. Because we must find a way to pay off our debt. But it's sort of like swimming and trying not to get wet. They're spending and spending all without ceasing. That mountainous deficit just keeps on increasing. We need answers, Obama. Why won't you lead? A solution from you is just what we need. But he turns to us with a scowl and a scoff saying, I'd sure love to stay, but I'm late for my golf. The end. Now, children, be sure and ask Mom and Daddy to buy you this book. But don't let them read it to you at night or it'll cause nightmares. Bye-bye.